Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again and for the very first time to the Farts and Crafts show where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part three um, of Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. Yeah, that's that's the name of this one. I uh, hope you guys are all doing well and um, I've really been enjoying this so far. Like, I've really really been enjoying this so far um and i did find out how to get both of the uh crystal shards that i missed and i'm gonna have to get some copy abilities that i'm not really a big fan of So weird in this. That is so strange. <laughs> so strange. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I've had a a long day. Like it's. It is the same day, recording, um, it is just much, much later in the day, I'm quite tired, and, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's been very, very busy today, oh jeez, had like, ooh, alright, um, just like got a lot of crap done. There we go. Uh, yeah, and I was just thinking, I was like, you know, you know what really like I wouldn't say used to be popular, but it used to be common on uh here on the YouTube. Is uh, people making videos about, um. <laughs> yeah, remember when people used to make videos? Uh. <laughs> there is, uh. People used to make videos about, um. Like. And I, I still see it from time to time. Not saying it's like. You don't see this anymore. Um. Like the ports? The ports that we need on the Switch. And, uh, I've never made one of those before, I don't believe. I don't think so. But yeah, you need the double... The double cutter. For some reason, which I guess I had a feeling that might be it, because, like, they're both green. You know? It's, like, color-coded kind of thing. Uh... But yeah, it's just like, the the Switch has been around for a few years now, and uh, we've had some great, uh, dare I say, like, incredible ports of, like, lots of games that uh, otherwise would be kind of hard to play. And, um... Oh yeah, I don't need this ability anymore. I can drop this anytime. Well then. I will drop it when I get a better ability here in a minute. Um, and I don't know if I'm actually going to like make a standalone video about it, so I just kind of wanted to talk about it during this video, because it's like, eh. It's, it's a let's play. Like, it doesn't matter what you talk about, honestly. Like, to an extent. Um, and 
and uh there we go but um yeah there's just a few that are like very surprising uh, I had a feeling maybe there was something up there um that we haven't gotten on the Switch yet because of like how freaking popular the games are I'm about to talk about and like not necessarily like popular popular but like uh they have a very uh, um a very vocal fan base I guess um go nailed it um, so the big one, gonna start with the big one that I am absolutely baffled that we don't have on the Switch yet, um, because, and I'm gonna keep these two, like, Nintendo games specifically, because, like, yeah, games from other companies, whatever, but Nintendo's own platform makes it especially confusing. Um, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It's... It's not a Nintendo-developed game, but it is a Nintendo-published game. And the developer Intelligent Systems is a second-party Nintendo developer. Like... They make games for Nintendo, you know? Um, and with how good the game is and like how incredibly well I, it would definitely sell on Switch, I'm very surprised they haven't done it yet. Of course, like, bringing over legacy titles like that with like little to no improvements but like a few um I guess they could be saving it for when like switch sales start to like decline but like we've seen so many other ports for other games that like Kinda nobody was asking for, you know? And like, we used to see it a lot more often, just like games from previous generations get like either a follow-up game or a, just a straight port of those games. Like, it, it really doesn't happen that much anymore. Um, like on the... Like, we got a few games from the Wii U, I guess. Like, what, Pokken Tournament was one? Uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze was another one. Like, um, I honestly can't think of too many right now. A lot of the big ones are missing. Like, there's no... Metroid Prime Trilogy, or... Oh, uh, Super Mario 3D World uh, was one. Um, but yeah, there's no Yoshi's Woolly World. Which is weird, because that's a fantastic game. Um, and like, the gra granted, like... The Wii U didn't see very many exclusive ones. Oh, yeah, the biggest game on the Switch, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Duh. And New, Bur <laughs> and New, Bur New Super Mario Brothers uh, U. Yeah, those both got ports. Um, and yeah, that's, you know, it's fine. Whatever. It's, um... None of which are really, like... Games that 
I personally like him that big a fan of. And like, I get it, it's mostly for... It's mostly for the audience of Nintendo fans that did not buy Wii U, which is most Nintendo fans, considering the numbers that the Wii U did. Uh, personally, I have a Wii U, and I already bought most of those games. Um, but yeah, like Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, um, both fantastic versions of their respective games. Still nothing on the Switch. And, uh, yeah. But a lot of stuff from, like, the Wii era and the... Oh, I guess we got that Pikmin port, huh? Now, now I'm remembering some of them. It's just like, oh, okay, I guess we did get this, and we got that Skyward Sword, I guess, counts. Um... And we get the 3D All-Stars Collection, which had Mario Galaxy, which is, in many people's opinions, the best Mario game. Like, definitely the best 3D Mario game. Uh, I mean, by opinion, like, not... I, I, I'm saying I think most people would say would say that. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would say that or not. I'm not the biggest Mario fan, though, so I'm not really, like, the right person to ask. Um, I really like 2D Mario. Especially, like, if you watch my, uh, Super Mario World series that I did a while ago. Uh, yeah, I was just, like, geeking out most of the time. Uh, wait, what is it? Spike and... Oh, that's fire arrows. I don't care about that. Yep. Uh, needle again. What is the thing that I need to get? Oh, oh wait, wait, it was... Was it stone? I think stone was one of them. It was stone and not fire. It was stone and... I want to say electricity. I don't know if that's right. I looked it up and like... Um... trying to remember uh, but yeah as far as um, as far as Nintendo's big IPs go I wouldn't say Kirby's a big IP for Nintendo but it's, it's pretty it's pretty significant I mean it used to be more significant but it's um it is one of their most beloved IPs, I would say. I just, uh... I don't know... I don't see them doing a lot more. Like, Kirby ports. Although, Nintendo is very by the numbers. Like, they are very by the numbers. Um... Kirby and the Forgotten Land has been doing it very well. Is it really electricity? It might be it might be something different. I think it's stone and electricity, but 
could be wrong. So I don't know. I think if they were going to port a Kirby game to the Switch, I would say... Definitely not Canvas Curse. Um... They would probably do something a little bit more modern. So I would say they would probably do Return to Dreamland. Considering that was like a huge project for them. Oh crap, can I even... Oh, okay, there we go. So it's a timed thing. Alright. that face. It's so gross. Is there even an electric thing here? And what is with this fish? I still don't understand. Oh, there's electricity. Okay. Alright, so... Perfect. I think it's stone and electricity. I'm... I hope that's right. I don't quite remember. Yep. I guess the color was the indication. Although, I guess that thing I had to blow up in the first level was black. And the bomb is a the bomb is a black ability. Yeah, I can't fly when that thing's going. Oh, I can just like hit attack again. Okay. All right. Well, that makes this ability significantly better. I still have no idea what these cards are about. Uh, is it like all hands all the way down goes really far, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up is like less far. Uh, probably like... yeah? Shit. I mean, one up is still good, but... All right, so we got all three. Cool. Next level. Uh, although if they are going by the numbers, I don't know if Return to Dreamland did as well as like Planet Robobot, but that was like a 3D game, a 3DS game. So I don't know. I didn't play that one, so I'm not sure how easy or difficult it would be to port? What was Electric Needle? What, was that a... Oh, it's like the Lightning Rod one. Yeah, that one kind of sucks. Um... Uh, Triple Deluxe was really good. Oh, geez. Do I have that ability? Oh, it's... Stone? Okay. Never seen one of those things before, but... I kind of doubt it'd be a new ability. Is this supposed to be like a Kid Icarus stage or something? Although I guess Kid Icarus wasn't... 
Sakurai thing until Kid Icarus Uprising. Which was like a long time after this. Huh. I'm tired, guys, okay? <laughs> like, I, I just, my brain is just like the. Uh, electricity and fire? Did I figure out what that was? Oh yeah, it's the static electricity where Kirby's head gets like... Yeah. Catches on fire. Yeah. Wow, dick move, dude. Haha, -ha, maximum height. Shit. Really? It's not a thing? Alright. Oh, uh, I kind of thought I'd have that, you know. Uh, what was the other one? The, um... There was another 3DS one. There was Triple Deluxe, there was Planet Robobop, Robobop, Robobot, and, uh... Ah, what was the other one? How would I even get that? Oh, I could have just gone up. Uh, I thought that was in the background. See, it's hard to tell sometimes. there be a little platform here? Mm. I'll see, I'll see. Ouch. Man, why is like needle the only ability around here? Is it like a timed thing? I thought it was like a number of presses or something, but I think it is a timed thing. Whoa. What are these things? Do I need to light them? Or are they like lanterns? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Does anybody, does anybody say that anymore? I haven't heard that in like years and years and years. Is there, like, actual water I can... Whoa! Hell no! What the f It's a Kappa! Of course he's Cutter. Oh, shit. Wow.
Oh, I can inhale underwater? How? I'm asking for a friend to... Eat that fish. That is uh, awfully fast for something that kills you instantly. Oh, you know what? I actually have played this level before. I just had like a very... very faint memory of playing this. Like a little too early to respawn. Oh, I can still use my ability underwater? That is very strange. Very, very strange. Is that... It doesn't matter, I can just like fly up here. Not a man, not a man. Oh, it's a cannon, okay. I thought it was gonna be like... I thought it was gonna be a ninja. It's like, dude, ninja ability is freaking... Oh yes, dude. Absolutely. freaking tootly. all up in this bitch. Yeah, fuck all other all other abilities right now. Bullshit. I remember this part. By the way, like, DDD is definitely a penguin, right? Me, right? He can't fly. Well, that's not really consistent with his other appearances in later games. Or was that before this? Okay, that's not how you get there. No, I think that's like the end part. Yeah, there's a door up there. I believe once you walk close to it, he just is like, alright, bye. But we gotta get all the crystal shots, man.
There we go. That's just to get food. Mm. Is that this one's for too? Yeah, that's what this one's for too. Alright, fine, whatever. Um, this is not the right way to go. But yeah, like I was saying, like the music in this game, freaking dope. Super good. Now, I cannot remember the name of that freaking Kirby game on the 3DS. Wait, what did I say earlier? Kirby Triple Deluxe. Oh, that's right. It was uh, it was not the 3DS. It was the regular DS. It was the remaster of um, Kirby Superstar. It's called. Ultra Star? Ultra Superstar or something like that? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that aim is good. It's gonna be like... Yeah! Fuck yeah. I think so. And, of course, like, Metroid is kind of like... They got Dread. And, like, Prime 4 is already confirmed. I doubt we'll see any other Metroid stuff other than that. I mean, it probably depends on how well Metroid Prime 4 sells. If it sells really well, they'll probably bring over the Prime Trilogy, which is no longer going to be a trilogy because there's going to be more than three games. Um, but the, the release of Metroid Prime Trilogy. Um... Because, yeah, they already had it digitally on the eShop on the Wii U. So, they already have a version like that that's um, usable. And just upscale it. But... some water in my windpipe. Mm. <clears throat> Just a sec. Alright. Uh, I coughed pretty hard. Um, but I got it. I got it. Uh, only slightly messed up my voice a little bit. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. We're out of time. We're at like 34 minutes right now, so... Um, but yeah. Yeah. It's, um... Because I... Yeah. And I didn't want this video to come across as like, oh, the Wii U is better than the Switch, and blah, blah, blah. I... no. It's not. Um, there are some things I like about it better. But for the most part... Yeah, the Switch is better. Um... But I'm also... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this, the Switch is much more convenient. Like, the Wii U gamepad is freaking awful. I hate that thing. Um, but yeah, the, the console itself, I like. Um, 
Not as much as the Switch, though. Um, but yeah, gonna get going for now. But, um... Top two. I'll just leave you guys with this. Top two ports I want that are on the Wii U. Or one that is and one that isn't. Top two ports I want. Uh, one. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. If I can do it already. Nintendo, you, you guys are cowards. But you're holding on to it. I get it. I get why. Uh, number two would be Wind Waker HD. I don't really care about Twilight Princess. But Wind Waker? I love Wind Waker. It's a great game. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If I had to put in a number three on there, I would say Smash Brothers Melee. Which... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ultimate is a thing. There are some things I prefer about Melee. I... Smash the Ultimate's a good game, but yeah, I, I do prefer Melee in a, in a couple of ways. But, you know, it, it's not like every time I want to play Smash, I'm going to want to play Melee instead. No, definitely not. Um, um I guess as long as I'm doing wish list kind of thing, a Star Fox game that doesn't suck, that'd be great. <laughs> I still play Star Fox 64 every so often. Uh, like it's it's a great game. I love it. It just hasn't really had a spiritual sequel that lives up to the standard that game set. So. Much like Thousand Year Door. Wow. Amazing. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for being here, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you had a good time. And of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording this video is just Navalis Draconis. But if you want to be awesome and, uh, like... <laughs> if you want to be awesome and amazing and generous like Navalis Draconis, uh, check out the join button down below, uh, tier start at three bucks a month if you guys can swing it, and, uh, you know, channel members get to, uh, vote on the Retro Classic series that get made here, like this one. So, anyway, um, and then you also get, like, standard, you know, membership perks, like, that are on every other thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna get going. Uh... And yeah, things you guys are looking for in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.